Two at five from your local election headquarters, a federal judge this afternoon rejected a lawsuit that aimed to throw out thousands of votes already cast in Harris County. We're talking about 127,000 votes cast at drive through polling locations. KXAN's Maggie Glenn has details on what's next. Texas Republicans filed a lawsuit last week trying to stop Harris County from operating its drive through polling locations and throw out the votes of anyone who had already used them. The case was heard in a U.S. District Court in Houston today where the judge dismissed the case entirely, ruling that Republicans lacked standing. The judge questioned the timing of the case, pointing to the drive through voting during the July primary runoff. The Republicans who filed the suit argued that Democratic County Clerk Chris Hollins was using the pandemic as an excuse to come up with new voting methods, but the defendants said they are protected by existing Texas election code. We're literally on the eve of election, and the purpose of that lawsuit was to basically suppress 125,000 or more votes. And I appreciate, I appreciate the fact that these votes are going to be counted because they should. The judicial branch is supposed to interpret the law. And when you have someone that has violated Texas election law, like Chris Hollis has done by expanding curbside voting, I don't know, you know what the judge in this case would have been thinking of. The Republicans are planning to appeal the judge's decision, meaning it will go on to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. The same plaintiffs filed a similar case in state court, but the Texas Supreme Court shut that case down over the weekend without an order or an opinion. From the Austin Bureau, Maggie Glenn, back to you.